up y'all welcome back to my channel today is day six of 25 days of christmas and i'm going to be doing this little simple no foundation look for you guys today it is really really easy really simple there isn't much to it you can do it in five to ten minutes and be out the door so if you're looking for a quick little put together makeup look that does not have any like foundation or really makeup in it at all this is the one for you, sis. I got you. I canceled on my birthday party at the club cause I guess I just needed something different. Showing off up in a room with people I don't even know. Hold on, hold on. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? So stop, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. So now that my brows are done, Cause you know I wasn't gonna do them on camera if there's a video coming. We're gonna move on to contouring and highlighting. So I'm going to use my handy dandy Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Um, I've had this for about four years at this point. And I'm going to be using this color right here. I believe it's called Havana. And then I'm just gonna go into my cheekbones real nice and kind of use this as a bronzer. But I do want to add some definition to my face if I'm not gonna be putting anything on. And this helps to just add some color. And if you're really used to like wearing makeup, you can do it without doing it. Some people don't like wearing foundation because of how heavy it is on their face. This is the way to combat it. And this is no foundation at all. Just straight face and skin. Okay? And then I'm gonna hit my corners up here. Only got one corner showing today, so only one corner gets hit. And as you can see, this hairstyle has lasted three days. I haven't touched it up yet either. I have to today, but I haven't done anything to it at all. Just wrapped it at night. Then we're gonna hit right under the jawline and go up. Because you got to make sure everything connects. You cannot make it look as if it's not supposed to be there. And as you can see right here, I have a very nice defined cheekbone without being too extra. And then go a little bit down the neck. A little bit down the neck. I'm going to use this little stippling brush right here. And I'm going to go in with Espresso. Espresso, I've already hit pan. And you have to go from your ear, like right where your ear is, or if you have um, sideburns, or right where the sideburn is, and just bring it down. And use the side of the brush. So the nose contour isn't too serious because you don't want to look too extra. Now, with the same color Havana, I'm just going to go across the whole eyelid with it. And you can add extra, like this is just the most simple you can do if you want to go somewhere. Um, sometimes I'll add like a little bit more. So I'll add my, some to my, a darker color to my V cut right here and deepen it up my crease a little bit. Or I'll add some um, sparklies, some glitter colors, some you know, some highlight, something, to like just brighten up my eye. And as you can see, it's not too much. You can't really tell um, that I have makeup on at all, because I don't have foundation on. So it's not like it just completely clears my face out. My face still looks like skin. But even with makeup, my face still looks like skin, because I really love the natural beat. If, you have, if you've seen my last videos, then you know that already. A lot of times I'll use my little pencil brush right here and I will go in with that same color or I'll go in with the darker espresso and I'll go right under. I haven't been putting on any blush recently, I've just been using my contour kit. And now my favorite part! Highlighting. I'm going to be using the Sam Marcel Highlight Powder Palette. Highlighter Palette. Um, and most of the time I will use this color called Tray Chic, which is the golden glowing color. But I don't know. 10K used to be my color right here. 
that needs to be my shit. But I might use a Dior. So Dior is this color right here. And it's like a peachy um, pink, peachy bronzy pink. It looks like it has some pink undertones in it. So what I do is I'll go right here on the tip of my nose and just go side to side, right on the tip. And then I'll go right up the middle. When I don't feel as if it's blended out enough, I'll go on my big fluffy brush and I'll just go like this real quick. See? Highlight. Highlight. On point. I'm going to add a little bit to my cupid's bow. And now I'm going to go in with this really tiny brush, right? And I'm going to hit my inner corners. If nothing else, hit them inner corners with this highlight, okay? Do you see how much of a difference that made your eyes look? Crazy. I'm going to apply my mascara, and this is the Ciate Le London Wonderland. I usually use my Maybelline, but I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's Maybelline. So I'm going to hit my lashes with this, and it has a very thick brush for getting thicker lashes. And as you can see, you can definitely tell the difference in my eyes from just adding mascara. And a lot of times I do add mascara on my bottom lashes, but I won't with this because this is very drying and thick on my lashes right now. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to go in with this brush. And this is the Lots of Lash Mascara, well, Great Lash Mascara, Lots of Lashes by Maybelline. One eye done. And if you mess up like me and get some mascara under your eyes, Get you a Q-tip, let it dry for a little bit, get you a Q-tip, and then clean it up. My whole face is done. I'll usually add a gloss. And the reason why I add gloss over like a lipstick for like color changing purposes is because my lips are already like super pink. So people already think I have lipstick on. Most of the time I will wear a nude and tone it down. Tone the pinkness down. But today I have this Full For You from MAC, and it's like a, I think this is a plumping gloss, I'm not sure. But it's for sure a little, it has a little spice to it. So this is the final look. No foundation, all skin, just a little bit of powder here or there, and some mascara and you're good to go. Make sure your brows is on though, because it makes just makes the whole look come together. A lot of times, that's the part that I'm missing and I just don't look put together. But today, I look put together, okay? So like I said before, you can always spice up your eyes and do all this extra stuff with that. But if you want a quick little five minute makeup real quick, pop on some contour, some highlight, some mascara. And if you want to, you can always add some, some lashes. You can always add lashes. Always, always, always add lashes. It will change your look up a little bit, make it a little more spicy, you feel what I'm saying? But you don't have to. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. And if you do try this look out, make sure to tag me so I know exactly who did it, what you look like, and I might post you in one of my next videos, you know? Who knows? You don't even have to be put together to be put together anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's get into these little slow modes. I ain't gonna do as many slow modes as I usually do. I might. Whatever. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. And tune in tomorrow because we have another video coming.